We raised enough money. Today is actually the final purchase date. We actually purchased the theater today from Paul. So Paul and I were wrangling lawyers for the last couple weeks and we, we got through that thankfully. But um, another organization I'd like to thank is the Canadian Cooperative Association. They provided uh, an initial grant to help us uh, with the business plan and Peter Huff, who's a co-op developer who helped the uh, Acadia Theatre out in Wolfville, Nova Scotia become a not-for-profit cooperative. He came out and helped us write the business plan here. And uh, Kathy Galbraith, who lives near Hastings, helped with the uh, membership recruitment and the Santa Claus parades and all that sort of thing. So without the help from the Canadian Cooperative Association, it would have been harder to do this. Um, of course, thank you. Thank you. The, founding, the founding board members of the Aaron Theatre Cooperative include uh, Stasha Conley. I don't see Stasha here yet. I think she was coming tonight. Uh, Tanya Orr, Wanda Tucker, um, Jana Reed, and Kathy Smith, and Ian Davis. And I'd really like to give them a hand. <laughs> you know, they, we had so many meetings, and I know some people love meetings, but not everybody. And uh, we organized events and fundraisers and sold memberships and sold bonds. And it was a real group effort. And it's a, just a fantastic uh, testament to what people can do together as a group when they're motivated. Um, finally, I'd like to thank the members of, of the co-op, the 400 plus members who have purchased memberships, either family memberships at $40 or $20 for individual memberships. And those discounts will start at the movie tomorrow because we just bought the theater today, so a dollar off every movie that you come to with your membership. If it's a family membership, it's for nuclear families, so two parents or a single parent and children, and it's a dollar off each ticket for each person. Thanks. I'm Kim McNeil, and I'm a, I'm a counselor here in Trent Hills, and it is my pleasure tonight to be representing Hector. He's very unwell today, so he couldn't make it. But I'm also representing Rick Norlock, because he also couldn't make it. <laughs> so um, thank you for allowing me to, yeah, to have a moment to speak. So I want to bring greetings from uh, Trent Hills Council and the Mayor and uh, Rick Norlock, our MP. Really a huge congratulations is deserved to have a vision of something and then have that vision come to fruition and so many people working so hard. It's just fantastic and you're all to be very congratulated on this. The um, Aaron Theatre is a cultural gathering place as we call it in the Trent Hills, uh, um, the Trent Hills Cultural Plan. And uh, we're certainly looking forward to see it continue to be a fantastic gathering place. And it's also very important for the vitality of the downtown of Campbellford. The more people we can bring into the downtown, the better it is for the whole community. And to have a theater this close as well, I mean, it's good for all of Trent Hills, <coughs> not just Campbellford. <laughs> All right, so here we are. This is the dedicated family that's kept this theater going all these years. And honestly, the uh, negotiations and discussions with Paul and Lynn, Dustin hasn't been that involved, but Paul and Lynn have been very, very involved. And we never could have made this happen without the cooperation of Paul and Lynn Imperial. And it's really been, from the very beginning, a mutually beneficial discussion based on trust, mutual respect, and cooperation, and that's really been an excellent uh, experience, certainly for me, and I hope for them too. I know that Paul probably has kind of mixed feelings. This is a huge part of his life, and we're here to support him in that too. And we are so pleased that Paul's going to continue to work here with us, and uh, we've actually got five now volunteer projectionists who Paul's training to do that job. And uh, we've got a, a large board of directors. We have an entertainment committee. There's a survey on your seats that we'd really love you to fill out because we need your feedback. The only way this thing's going to work is if the people that are the members in this community take ownership of the theater. And we organize the events that we want to have here and show the movies that we want to have. Yes, we will continue with the Hollywood movies. 
and we need to really, you know, think of creative ideas and how we can use this space. So that's my little lecture about membership and getting the bums and the seats. But I really want to thank Paul and Lynn and Dustin. We've got this little plaque here that we'd like to put up in the front. Paul, it's a lifetime membership in the Aaron Theatre Cooperative. And it's uh, free admission to any events for Paul and Lynn. So uh, that's just an appreciation. It's showtime, quiet please. <laughs>